Hi everybody, Peter of England. Today's video is on a topic called divorce. Next year, 2024, is going to be what I believe is quite a turbulent year. People say you can't tell the future, but there are finger points, there are stepping stones, there are indications of what's to come. And I would suggest that on May the 24th, 2024, in New York, at the United Nations headquarters, there is going to be 193 countries approximately, who are there to um, sign off on a treaty. And this treaty is called the Pandemic Treaty, and it's issued or orchestrated mainly by the WHO, World Health Organization, of which major contributors are uh, the Bill and Linda Gates Foundation. And so you would say that it is anything other than potentially uh, concerned with vested interests. But that being as it is, the main thing for you to be aware of is that I propose that most populations of the planet, individuals that make up those being you, are in a bad marriage. And how do we resolve a bad marriage? We tend to look for a divorce. And so this is what I'm proposing for you today. I need you to go to the website area52.life Go to the tab marked Services, scroll down to where you see the word Divorce, and therefore have a look at the declaration there. I've prepared a declaration for members, for people who are not members of Area 52. I also give you an option to download uh, the, the document. It's approximately eight pages long, and it sets out a series of... Um, complaints and obligations that I would suggest you all seek remedy for, failing which you are giving uh, the notification that your divorce decree goes from a state of nisi to absolute. And that's really what I'm saying, that in this bad marriage that you actually extricate yourself because if you don't extricate yourself from what's coming down the, the pipeline here, you're going to be um, gathered up in it and your, uh, all the presumptions and assumptions that are leveled against you are going to be forced upon you through your state of acquiescence. Okay. Now, what's intriguing about this uh, pandemic treaty that the WHO are looking to have enforced globally is that in previous uh, treaties and in pr uh, previous health arranged agreements, individual countries had a sovereign status to um, either accept in whole or part the various measures that were recommended by the WHO. From next year in May, if this treaty is signed, a lot of those self determinacies are no longer allowed. They're being struck through or struck out. Not only that, a lot of the humanitarian individual right to make a decision as to how your, your body or your health is looked after are also to be struck out. So I would suggest for those who want to do some research on this, go and have a look at the means of what's, uh, uh, what's uh, suggested within the treaty and see if those, those terms that you uh, are going to have forced upon you are acceptable to you. And I would say for most people, um, the absolute right to self-determination on these things concerning your own health are paramount. So the divorce that I'm suggesting, the declaration of divorce, uh, as an anagram, it's a, a declaration intended, voiced or recited, uh, communicating exit. And this is what you're really looking to do. Now, this divorce declaration is there for you to print off and send to whoever you wish to communicate the fact to that things have changed. You're now under a different management system, which could be much much sought after should be actually your own. Um, and that has also been coupled to a, uh, an opportunity for you to call for help. Um, the realm or area of Area 52 X Terra is designated to be beyond the seas, beyond their help, beyond their land, beyond their control. 
and this is something that's being put there for you so that you can you can take comfort from the fact that you can change you can uh, make a call uh, and it, within that call uh, arrange for a self-determination and a protection because if you don't make the statement then the old school um, control agenda the acquiescence by just general acceptance is going to prevail. Now, one of the reasons why I think this is very important is for, nine, uh, for 2024, there's a lot of things coming down the pipe. Um, we have at the moment, as of the 1st of December, when this is being recorded, uh, we've got this thing called COP28 being talked about in Dubai, I think the United Arab Emirates, and Prince Charles, or sorry, King Charles now is coming along and saying that the, the safety of the world depends upon some type of treaty agreement or something uh, that's going to be finalized here at COP28. Um, and I would suggest for many people that there is a distraction here. There is a uh, find the lady under the cup type syndrome where attention is being distracted from the real causes of, uh, of possible climate change, if, if at all it is changing. Um, but what we have to do is ask certain questions. The, the oceans are warming, but they're warming not from the surface, they're war warming from the, the base up or from the seabed up. There is lots more volcanic activity, there is lots more tectonic activity. This for sure isn't being created by CO2. So, is there another alternative? Is there another possible solution? Or do we need to look to the heavens? Does history repeat itself? And I would suggest that um, talk in the papers around this time and on media uh, outlets generally are talking about coronal mass ejections from the sun uh, that are going to take out possibly electricity or uh, satellite communications or the power grid generally. There's more and more talk of this. Um, and, and so with this talking, with NASA and with the general, shall we say, scientific community uh, postulating about has another object or body entered into the inner solar system. Some would call it the ninth planet, some would call it the twelfth planet, some refer to it as Nibiru, some Wormwood. Um, it could well be that the artifact, the outcome of this insurgency, of this object, if it does exist, could that be the reason for the dimming of the skies? Could this be the reason for the excessive cloud cover that we see on the horizon? Um, could, we, could we postulate that this could be a reason why they're passing off one thing as causing climate, uh, climate uh, change or climate problems when in fact they know fully well it's something else? So just remember, don't trust the government. The government comes as a derivation from two words, govern to control and ment from men or mensa or mental, mental state, and that's mind. So governmental control is basically mind control in a different package. Um, so the climate change is something that is a big question and you should look into it. Uh, the extraterrestrial agenda is something that is still percolating underneath. Uh, we've also got this problem in China at the moment as we're coming up to the end of November, beginning of December, where we have this massive outbreak of pneumonia or child-related uh, respiratory problems in China. Um, and what the cause of that is, I don't know. The WHO would profess that they don't know. They can't get enough information passed to them, they say, from the Chinese authorities. But we know that President Xi, XI11 uh, in Roman numerals, is very happy to go along with the general uh, postulate that the Chinese system of, of credit uh, scoring and general control of the populations is something that they want to extend to the rest of the world and I don't see why they won't be able uh, won't be able to do it as we go through 2024. 
In the United Kingdom, for example, early parts of 2024, there is also rumor uh, that visas are going to be issued and therefore any British citizen wishing to travel into Europe has got to apply for an online visa, very much like other countries like Costa Rica, uh, like in India, like Sri Lanka. Um, they run those uh, uh, quite successfully at the moment. So the, the main question today for you should be, if I am not happy within this system, do I need to get myself out of it? And if I do need to get myself out of it, how can I? And I would suggest that you sincerely look to this protocol of divorce, divorcing from this system that has welded you into it and tried like an abusive husband or a, a, a manipulative spouse to make you believe that you can't get out of it. You can't change anything. So we've two things here, the declaration of divorce, the GO, uh, G2O2P3 treaty, which you also need to look at. Uh, and finally, in parting, I would like to ask the question generally to all those people out there who like to make comments on the video, why has Twitter been rebranded as X? Is there any association or coincidence that they do this, or Elon Musk supposedly, uh, the brains behind the big tunnel company, the brains behind the brain link uh, technology of Neuralink, uh, why does he rebrand uh, Twitter as X? I don't really know of any other uh, company on the planet that trades under one letter of, of the alphabet, though maybe I am sure there, there are, but the planet of the crossing, the X, the symbolism of the Passover, where um, the, the Judeans marked an X on their lintels uh, so that they would escape the angel of death and be warned of the time to leave um, th their houses to escape. Um, the fact that the Red Cross, the symbolism of the cross, is an ancient Sumerian, Hittite, Babylonian, uh, Egyptian, um, uh, Greco-Roman uh, primal um, geographic um, uh, geometry that has always been a symbol of the Anunnaki. The Anunnaki referred to in the Bible. Characters like Enki and Enlil, Ninhat, Sag, um, Anu, uh, Alalu, these, 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 these characterizations are part of the Anunnaki Nephilim heritage, and it may be that Elon Musk and those who are controlling him behind the scenes want to give a nod in the direction of the Anunnaki, who, after all, claim the parenting rights, the genetic input parenting rights for the monkey suits that you walk around in, uh, often called the human body. We have a spiritual dimension, we have a physical, material, bodily identification here, and the two are distinctly separate. However, the suit that you are walking around in has been loaned to you by a group of um, beings that might be coming back to uh, put the house in order. So if you can't imagine that happening, if you can't imagine uh, a group uh, of beings coming along to save humanity from itself, then could you imagine four years ago that the entire population of the country would be uh, rendered uh, so compliant to accept something and also uh, to have these, uh, these masks on and to be locked down, uh, frightened to touch each other, frightened to go and kiss goodbye to loved ones if they had the opportunity to do so uh, in, in old people's homes or in hospitals, in fact, even not being allowed to. If you couldn't imagine that, therefore, you don't think that that could have been possible, how much different is it now? Yeah, so that's the mindset I'm trying to present to you here now. You need to go into or at least explore a realm an agenda that liberates, separates, divorces you from the abusive, static, non-serving, creative relationship that somebody has put you into, which isn't 
It isn't the best way for you to become a creative spiritual being to take the next steps in their, their evolutionary ascension. So with that, thank you very much for watching. If you like it, pass it to somebody because we appreciate the views. Press the subscribe button. Peter of England saying thank you.